Bernstein Bruce Bruce and Zarustein. Bernstein Bruce 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 Bernstein Bruce Bruce and Zarustein Bruce Bruce Roosting Roost, roosting, roost, He should be here any second now, right? How am I supposed to know? I've never seen him. This bad guy's been around for what, a couple years now? How many of us have actually seen him? Well, the commissioner speaks highly of him. Why in the hell would he lie about something like that? I don't know. Because he's getting hold and seen now? I bet you a hundred bucks this bad guy story is all bullshit. Hey, up, buddy. Batman, good to see you. James, fill me in. Well, normally I wouldn't call you for something like this. Hell, I was advised not to. But I'm the city commissioner now, and I had to go with my gut. Something doesn't feel right. How so? This is Dr. Alan Johnson, 65-year-old psychiatrist. He suffered a heart attack outside his apartment about five hours ago. But I think there's more to the story. Go on. Searched his apartment and found this. He has notes about some of his clients in here, but there's also a whole lot of gibberish. This is the third heart attack related death this week. Now there's, there's a pattern here. All the victims have left behind these strange drawings and writings. First victim was a cop. He drew chickens scratched the word roosting into the floor. 
The last victim was a woman, and she did some of the same. Detective Driver has been working on another case for the past several weeks. Triple homicide at Gotham State University. I didn't want to put anything more on his plate, so I thought maybe you could help out. I'll see what I can do. Good. My daughter Barbara is a forensic technician at Gotham City Police Department. Now, I'll have her log this into evidence. Tomorrow she'll write up an analysis. We'll make copies for you. Wait. Of all things, why a bat? Because they're quiet. Not what I was expecting. Yeah, he does that. What's up, woman? Hey, Vicky. How's Gotham's world famous reporter? Hey. Hey, I'm not famous yet. Maybe someday. How are you, Barb? Good, just writing up a report on some evidence. Sweet. Hey, that's actually what I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, really? Yeah, I just wanted to ask you about this guy, Dr. Alan Johnson. You know of him? The psychiatrist. Yeah. Well, I heard rumors swirling around that the police found some evidence at the scene. And maybe it wasn't just a heart attack. And? And I was wondering what you know of this said evidence, Miss Forensic Technician? <laughs> Vicky, I'm not allowed to discuss this stuff mm, with you. <laughs> tell me what you know, woman! Alright, alright, chill. If I tell you what I know, what's in it for me? Um, be helping out your former college roomie. And I can tell you something about this case that you don't know. This morning, I talked to Dr. Alan Johnson's neighbor. The neighbor said there was someone outside the night he died. Said he looked like a dog. Like a guy wearing a dog mask. Wait, what? Yeah, weird, right? I don't know, but it's, it's still something. So boom, there's your information. So are you gonna help me out now? The rumors are true. Sweet. My dad thinks there's something more happening than just heart attacks. The victims have been drawing weird pictures of the crime scenes before they died. All three of them. You're saying he, Dr. Johnson, could have been murdered. Well, I don't know that there's <laughs> Oh, God, I shouldn't laugh. It's insensitive. But still, if Gotham was a new serial killer and I were the first to report it, it could be huge. Thank you, Barb. We need to get coffee one of these days. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, remember, you didn't hear this from me. I'm as silent as the grave. Later! Bye, Vicky. And the reporter, Vicki Vale. You are listening. I don't think it's wise to involve her in all this. She's fine, harmless, and she's my friend. She's a reporter. She only cares about the story. We did each other a favor. You don't have to worry about her. Just let her have this. Here. I jotted down a few notes, but that's everything. Wait, I have a question. 
Well, more something I want in return. No. No, but you don't know. You want me to train you. You spent the last several years honing your skills, preparing yourself. Did you think I wouldn't know what you were up to? You don't know what you're asking. I want to do more than this. All I'm asking is for a chance. I can't. Because of Robin? I know what happened. I'm willing to take the risk. Not again. Not on my watch. I know bats are supposed to be nocturnal. You, however, are not, Master Wayne. Is that for me? No, sir. For me. Helps calm the nerves. You don't need to worry about me, Alfred. I will always worry about you, sir. Goes with the job. And speaking of jobs, you need to stop spending so much time beating up thugs and spend more time managing your billion dollar business. I know. I'm fine, Alfred. You can't keep sleeping through conference calls and sending a proxy to client meetings? Lucius isn't a proxy. He's a friend and a good manager. That he is, sir. That he is. Either way, I I think it's very important that you at least consider doing... <sighs> Looks like she's back. You don't have to go, sir. She is never going to stop. I know. You should listen to him, Mike. No, I'm not letting her get away again. Wait, Mike! You are a lovely dancer, Michael. <laughs> But I've seen better. There you go. For your troubles. Have a good night, sweetie. <laughs> It's been a while, hasn't it, Bats? Yes, it has. Did you miss me? I thought your thieving days were done. Um, they are. Oh, <laughs> I see. There's some confusion. That jewelry store I robbed belongs to Falcone. So it's fine. And the body? <laughs> One of the guards shot the other. I mean, I may or may not have been using him as a human shield. Either way, it's not my fault. What's the matter? You don't approve? We have different ways of getting what we want, Bats. What exactly do you want, hmm? You do miss me. 
You're better than this. I heard about those heart attacks with the weird drawings. And I heard through the grapevine that Gordon asked you to look into it. How did you? People talk. And I think it's also important that you know that I spoke to that dead cop a couple weeks before his untimely death. You knew Officer Angus? I don't know. I just might have. Wait, what do you know? I'll tell you, if you let me be your partner in crime. No crime. We'll see. Let me be your partner, and I'll tell you everything that I know tonight. Why not just tell me now? And what fun is that? I'll meet you at your place in two hours, and I'll bring wine. Selena, we're just talking business. Of course. I think I've found something. Connection. Hmm. Psychiatrist, Dr. Johnson. He knew one of the victims, the first one. Sherry Squires graduated from Gotham University in 2016. He was a professor of hers. And? Well, Gordon has detected a driver working a triple homicide at Gotham University. And you think the heart attacks are connected to the murders? Possibly. But who would want to murder three college kids and then weeks later kill three more people leaving little to no evidence? It's Gotham City, for Christ's sakes. I mean, random murders happen all the time. The five of the six victims are connected to the university. What do you know of the cops, Selena? Look, you wouldn't let me bring it up at dinner. How did you know Officer Angus? He flirted with me the other night at Cooper's. You know the bar in East End? Bought me a couple drinks and tried to slip his hand down my skirt. Well, what else did he talk about? He talked about the Knights game last week. About his wife being at home. And he talked about the murders at the university. Did he know any of them? I don't know. I mean, he didn't mention an arrest he made at that very university a couple years ago, said some idiot professor fired off a gun during one of his lectures. He wanted to make a point, but he ended up injuring one of his students in the process. And Angus was called to the scene to make the arrest. Now he did say, one of your victims, Sherry Squires, used to be a student of that professor. He happened to mention the professor's name. No. Wait, here it is. Dr. Jonathan Crane, a psychology professor at Gotham University, was arrested on Monday after firing a handgun in a crowded classroom, which resulted in one of his students getting shot and wounded. Crane's class was focused on exploring the psychology behind fears and phobias. He went to jail, right? Well, if found guilty, Crane could serve up to five years in prison for a non-fatal shooting accident. Here's an update. Due to his good behavior and lack of criminal history, Dr. Crane was released from Gotham State after serving only 18 months. It means he's out. I need to get in touch with Gordon. I think Gordon. And wait. Selena. Drink. It's been a long time since I've seen you, and I just want to relax. I agreed to meet tonight if we discussed work. And we did that. Right? And I think we made some great progress, but. Let's not be coy, Bruce. 
you didn't invite me over just to discuss work. Away. I need to see you in the Batcave immediately. All right, Alfred, I'll be right there. I have to go. I know. Sorry to interrupt, sir. That's all right, Alfred. I've been listening in on the police scan. There's been another heart attack. This time in Robinson, I heard them say something about strange symbols being drawn by the victim. The cops can handle that. I think I figured out who the real killer is. So we're going to have a little chat. I'll let Gordon know the plan. Oh, and Alfred. Don't tell her where I went. As you wish, sir. Alfred, I'm here. Excellent. Now, where exactly is here? Creighton's last known residence. It's a farmhouse outside the city. There doesn't appear to be anybody home. Something doesn't seem right about this. Alfred, I think I see something. Keep your wits about you, sir. Always. I'll call you if I need anything. Stand by. Give it up, Crane. I know it's you. You're the one killing these people. There's no <coughs> Crane here. Only Scarecrow. This won't end well for you. <laughs> we shall see. Poisoned, you still manage to hold your own. Hey, give it a second to marinate. You'll really feel it. What the hell did you do? Do you like it? It's a special serum just for you. <gasps> Is it that terrifies Gotham's unsung hero? Save me, help me, Batman. You're the reason I'm dead. Save ah, me, help me, Batman. Phobia. You're the reason I'm dead. The fear help of me. failure. Those must be the voices of those you couldn't ah. save. I too heard the voices, but from those who tormented me. I was hated by peers. Professors, students, my own mother, and that cough, that 
vicious pig. Did unspeakable things to me at Gotham State Penitentiary. Their voices haunted me. So I had to silence them. I was impulsive and careless with my students. Left behind too much of a mess. So I created a serum, nearly undetectable, and I made the others truly suffer. And then you came along, Batman, poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Take him. You have no place to go. <laughs> I don't think I'm the one you have to worry about. Thanks. Catherine. Whatever you're seeing, whatever you're experiencing, it's not real. No. No, you're not real. Get out! Get out of my head! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm Vicky Dale. 
I'm just a reporter, I swear. I was just listening to the police scanner. to Ritz. Oh, how long have I been out? Oh, three days. So. <sighs> What's the last thing you remember? I was in the cornfield. Someone else was there. Ah, oh, he called himself Scarecrow. It had to have been Crane. Ah, oh, he did something to me. He poisoned you. Just like he poisoned all the other victims. Perhaps he gave you a smaller dose. Ah, uh, something different. Well, whatever he gave you drove you insane. What? Oh, God. He needs to know, Alfred. Developing story, we know that the GCPD has issued an arrest warrant for Batman and Catwoman based on the footage captured by reporter and journalist Vicki Vale, as well as the eyewitness accounts of Officer Holder and Officer Grayson. Batman and Catwoman are wanted for the assault of Commissioner James Gordon and the apparent murders of four masked men. These four unidentified men were pronounced dead at the scene, seemingly by blunt force trauma and asphyxiation. However, toxicology reports are revealing traces of various toxins in their systems. Forensic experts are still determining their exact cause of death, but regardless, the police and Gotham citizens are believing Batman and Catwoman to be the primary suspects. Many even suspect Batman to be responsible for the brutal murders at Gotham University, as well as other mysterious deaths around the city, including the death of police officer Chris Angus. Vicki Vale confirmed a fifth masked person was at the scene, but they have yet to be located. They were last seen wearing... You did not need to show him that just as he waits. You know what, Alfred? He needs to understand the gravity of the situation. No one has killed Gordon, for Christ's sakes. And me. How did this happen? I found you and helped you fight off Scarecrow's men. Then you attacked me. Gordon was there to help, and now he's paying the price for it. How bad is it? Bad? He is still in the ICU. In a coma. Crane set this up. He knew I'd be coming. He wanted the cops there, too. You know, Gotham thinks I killed, what, almost a dozen people? You know what, if you told me where you were going, then I could have your back, okay? I could have had your back. You don't know that. You would have fallen into the same trap. No, Bruce. You needed me there. It wouldn't have mattered. I would have made it. Enough! What is done is done. The city was wary of you before. They didn't know you were there. Now they think they do. I need to be alone. Where is she, Falcone? Do you even know why I called you here? Why I took your precious sister? <laughs> I guess it has to do with the jewelry store I have. 
Remind me, Mike. Is she the one that beat you and Vincent? And took thousands of dollars of gems? My gems! It's her. So, she's the one you let get away. She's the one that killed Vincent. No! That was you, wasn't it? It's a shame. He was a good man. A family man. But he fucked me over. What do you think I'm gonna do to someone that fucks me over? Someone that's not part of the Falcone family. Hmm? You and the Batman have been interfering in my business way too long. And thanks to the Scarecrow, he got what was coming to him. Now it's your turn. You're gonna get what you deserve. I... You know, it must have been scary when the Batman was trying to kill you, Miss Kyle. But that fear is nothing compared to what you're gonna feel when I get through with you. Thank you.